Clinton High School has a storied tradition in South Carolina football, and this week they celebrate the 100th anniversary of their program. Our Fox Carolina tailgate tour is headed to Clinton tomorrow for the ceremony, but first, sports reporter Carmine Jamey gives us a look at the program and the town of 7,500 people that rally around it. It's the 100th year of Clinton High School football, and these guys have won eight state titles, including four in the 1970s. One of the assistant coaches on the team now was a running back and a kicker on that 1978 state title team and spoke about what it means to play football in Clinton. On Friday night, everything closed, but the drug stores were down here because uh, everybody was at the football game on Friday nights. 45 years after Coach Jones' state title, Fridays are still a holiday in Clinton. On Friday nights, uh, the town shuts down and everybody shows up at Wilder Stadium. Every Friday, the town shut down. Everybody, you ask everybody where they at, they're going to say they at the Clint High football game on Friday nights. <laughs> That Friday night tradition really took off in 1969 when Clinton football hired coach Keith Richardson and in 1970 integrated the football team. Allowing everyone to play helped them win four state titles in the decade. It just brought the town together and I think that's just been the glue to the city since then. With the integration, do you think there's a, a racial unity that took place? Most definitely. And if you probably look in every town, football is probably the one thing that brings everybody together. Family of what? What? Family. They stay together even when they disagree. Coach Glenn was the quarterback of the Clinton team that made it all the way to the state championship game in the early 2000s. Zay Gravy Johnson says the old timers don't let the current guys forget their success. Do you guys get into arguments as far as like who the best team? Yes. We definitely get into arguments, especially with um, Coach Glenn on um, team. They say they was the best that come through here. But I feel like our last year team was the best. So we always talk about, oh, if we was in the same grade and we played each other, we'll win. We'll always tell them that. Clinton is going all out on Friday to celebrate the 100th anniversary of football here, welcoming back all the old school fellas for their home game against Chapman. So we'll see if Clinton can start off the season with a 5-0 record on Fox Carolina's Game of the Week. For now, reporting in Clinton, I'm Carmine Jumet. It's going to be so much fun. They're having a, a sort of pep rally ceremony mm -hmm. uh, in the gym tomorrow uh, with some of those former players and, and some so of cool. those, you know, heroes from the town. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll be there to, to cover all of that and bring it to you on Fox Carolina Tailgate. So Kendra and I will be out there yes. along with Carmine. We at can't wait. Five and six. Yes. And then, of course, we'll have the highlights from that game at 10 and then tailgate show at 11. Yes.